So I got a new toy today, a 1000X uh, digital microscope that can take some pictures. And I uh, put it to use taking some pictures of uh, basal trichomes. I'm trying to uh, evaluate my basils and breed them to have greater density of trichomes and larger trichomes. So I just wanted to share a little bit about my findings. Uh, this picture here, you can see some uh, stocked glandular trichomes. I picked out a nice selection of basils to evaluate some ornamental and culinary basils that are quite fragrant and also uh, a sweet basil I'm breeding. And uh, now most of them had the stock trichomes as well as uh, some kind of dome shape that don't have the stocks. But uh, first here we see some of the stock trichomes, which are quite nice. Some of them clear, some of them uh, amber. Now, uh, the, the hairy things are, the hairy trichomes uh, don't contain the essential oils and are just there to deter pests, so I'm not too worried about those. I want to breed for the uh, stocked or uh, dome trichomes. Now, the one basil that did not have the glandular uh, stock trichomes was the sweet basil that I selected. and uh, But you can see at the base of the leaves, it kind of has a powdery, uh, look to it from all the the domed trichomes that don't have the stock on them and uh, on the leaves of the other ones seem to have a regular pattern of the little blob you know domed uh, trichomes now I also uh, took a look at a dried bit of uh, basil flower and you can see some nice amber trichomes on the top of this so even when the basil fully dries out, the trichomes uh, stay attached, and they're still there, uh, even when it's gone fully to seed. Now, uh, the flavor does seem to change in the scent, so I think the terpene content of the trichomes uh, does change as it uh, goes to flower. So I just thought I'd share a little bit about my findings with my new uh, toy I got, and uh, wishing you all the best, and uh, happy gardening.